many years students I just said that I never liked online class finally we came back and we'll do our best to give you the best education and online class a lot of time have a lot of confusion class like does it the people saw like when you go by the class it says in person but it says in person but that doesn't mean anything yeah. it's a hybrid another place exactly you see it's a hybrid that's what i'm saying I'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> me too i'm with I'm that okay <laughs> yes sir this game is gonna go there yeah sure come on come on in here come on next to me come on okay let's put on the effort Yeah. Let me let me let me. I want to see what you're doing. Something cool stuff you had. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, nowadays kids are like so much into the iPad, you know. No. Uh, <laughs> some of you love chemistry and most of you oh no, none of you. Okay. I like it. It's just perfect my brain. Yeah. It's like okay, it's like a Okay. So sometimes like in a coffee shop If I tell someone, "Hey, I'm a chemistry professor," really, you must be very smart. <laughs> you know what? Second thing I I hear, I hated chemistry when I was in college. So, uh, to me, I love it. You know why? Chemistry gave me the foundation of science. Chemistry taught me how to struggle, and through the struggle, I learned so much. that i finished two doctorate so far now i'm about to doctorate my third doctorate degree my phd doctorate in biomedical chemistry university of wisconsin and then the struggle i went through five years my phd <clears throat> that brought me to a situation that i can achieve anything i can pass any barrier in my life I can solve any problem that I have, and that brought me to the postdoc in Texas, in city, in in Houston. I was in Texas Medical for my postdoc, and I came here like a huge drug research. He's in medical school, you know, working with the medical doctors, uh, learning the cool science of drug and disease. I had to learn all the disease. I was not a doctor. I have to learn all the disease, their mechanism. I have to learn their that the possibility of the drug, how can you cure those disease? And after finishing my postdoc, I found science is so interesting. I want to pursue more science. I know you might sound crazy, right? <laughs> you want more, more, study more? Yes. I went to Harvard. No. I went to Harvard for my nutrition study. And you know what, you know, students, I can tell you. I paid out of my pocket for my Harvard study. Wow. Let me tell you why. There's some uh, cool thing behind it. When I was in medical school, hold uh, right here, campus on UMB, I was very sick. I developed so many diseases. I had a, first I started with allergy. Doctor gave me allergy shot, and then allergy shot increased through the time that. Almost every other day, I finish my Galveston Island, came to this, you know, in this land, and go to the doctor in the Lake City, get my allergy shot. Otherwise, I cannot get home. I cannot sleep. And that developed my metabolic disease, high blood pressure. My sugar was high. And not only that, the saddest part is I develop autoimmune disease. Three of them, not one. Which one? Lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and and fibromyalgia. Okay, let me go back. What are you talking about? Signs, symptom, right? So we lose the symptom because they come to us. They dictate our zinc level, and zinc is the one activate the carbonase, which is responsible to produce the smell ability. We lose the smell, right? And we get fever because our body. produces own high fever to fight back with this virus see temperature go higher temperature go higher it's called hyperthermia science is called hyperthermia so suppose virus attack to us 
and body make a high, high temperature hypothermia and so that it can produce enough heat the virus cannot survive, virus can go away, virus can die. You see, body is so smart, right? So you get hypothermia, body gets produce a lot of cytokine, immune system will release a lot of cytokine. Have you heard cytokine release? A lot of cytokine release to kill the cell. A lot of immune cell to protect this virus, uh, to protect us from this virus. So all you need to take care of our health. If you are healthy, it's a proven science. So get some study on that. What in the future you can save ourselves, right? So we don't need to lock down every time. We don't need to stop education every time. We don't need to give away all of our money to some people, yeah. unless you want that. <laughs> no, no. Thank, thank you. I like you. And that's our future. If you don't aware us, if you don't be aware of that, if you don't grow ourselves, if you don't develop ourselves. Our, our future will be like that. We will lose our money, we will lose our education, we will lose our health. Everyone has to be educated. Like everyone knows how to drive, right? Same way, everyone needs to know how to drive our health. What to eat, what not to eat, what's, uh, what to do, how to respond when you see some problems around, right? That you can save our humanity, you can save ourselves first. Hey, COVID, can COVID make a uh, diabetes, not only leukemia? Yes, COVID does. COVID depresses your metabolism. COVID uh, because magnesium. Magnesium is the one support to metabolize the sugar, right? So you don't have enough, you have COVID attack, your body depletes the magnesium, then you have a big chance to not to metabolize enough sugar, you see. Anything, COVID, can COVID depress the immune system? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It makes a lot of infection in the body. So your immune system is going to be weaker because you have a lot of infection. So COVID does anything, everything. But depending on us, how we strengthen our system, how we defend easily, how we can rebuild our, our body back. Especially post-COVID, we have a lot of symptoms developed. So if we deal that too, then hopefully, you know, we can save ourselves. So any other question? Any articles that you like about COVID in terms of the patho and the vaccines? I, I've been chasing COVID for the last 14 months. I'm an ICU nurse, so I've been working in the trenches for the last 14 uh, months. And um, it is hard to navigate all of the. So much. It's just too much. And I quit looking at some of the stuff because it was just, it changed so many days so often. But moving forward, is just not going anywhere. I don't think COVID is because some people, would, does, some people like, want to lie so much, you know? Yeah, and I would like to be more educated on it, to follow the more like enzyme and levels. I've been looking like at the drug round. Yeah. That's a lot what I, but again, I see the 1% of the 1%. Got it. You know, so my, my perspective of COVID is a little skewed. <laughs> Everyone. Well, Someone say, oh, I know everything. That he's, he, he's, he don't know what he's talking about. So a lot of the like the enzymic and like the um, or like the zinc and the mag. Do you have articles? Or like okay. where um, would you where would for you that? Because I'm just curious for my own. Got it. So okay, if you look at the Google it up, right? Today someone told me, uh, you know, that uh, I did my own research. I got I got that 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 that. Just Google it up today, okay? Vaccine is good or bad. 50% say vaccine is good, 50% research with vaccine is bad. Look at uh, milk, milk good or bad? What are you going to get? Same thing. Of course chicken is good, right? Google it out that, hey, chicken is good or bad? What are you going to get? Same thing. Same thing. So what are you going to do with the research? Look at the top most research article in the United States is a Lancet. Is a Lancet is the one like top of all our you know, peer research. Hello, put the attendance on it. Huh? Put the attendance so we can leave. Are you leaving? So, I'm leaving. Wait, wrong class? Okay, <laughs> 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 right. I'm a, I was a scientist. Then I became a medicine scientist. I became a professor. Then I became a doctor, you know? So, what I would tell you, go always by true evidence-based talk, peer-reviewed journal. 
not like someone say oh i study on 200 people i get them pizza they are good they are energetic they are going performing very well in their basketball games that means tomorrow you not play basketball oh, yeah. get a pizza <laughs> come on whenever you have a research look at the top journals who who they reviewed all the peer you know articles and they published something so that you can follow so lancer is the number one i follow this is the number one of course not because of i like it and nature is the number two in american journals you know is a very high impact factor and um so you do that google it, uh, just go there and say and type covid 19 you see the lot of of uh, <laughs> the you can trust on that all scientists did it but if you see some pharmaceutical you know uh, partially published some journal they will have some school name <coughs> as well but remember that they have a, they have a, they have a goal behind on this exactly yeah. for this article and a lot of people get screwed looking at this article so it's up to you what you choose okay